All right, so uh, as I'm reading this problem, here's what I'm thinking. It says find the current, so that means I is what I'm looking for. That corresponds to a maximum value of P. So when I see the words maximum value, I should be thinking max, an actual max. And when I think max, I should be thinking <coughs> derivative equals zero. Okay, that's what I should be thinking. Um, so that's P prime equals zero. That's the thought process that should be going through my mind. They tell me V is 12 volts, uh, R is 0.5 ohms, and our interval is between zero and 15. And that's important because anytime we're dealing with extreme values, we've got to check the endpoints. Okay, so let's go through this. Uh, go back to your equation, P equals VI minus RI squared. Now obviously we have, right now we have uh, one, two, three, four variables, right? P, V, I, and R. Uh, so obviously something's got to go away in order for us to be able to take the derivative here. So um, P, we're trying to maximize P, so that's going to stay, okay? V, they told us, is 12. I is what we're looking for, so that's staying as a variable. Minus R is 0.5, and again, I is what we're looking for. So we went from 4 to 2. 2, that's what we're used to, X and Y, right? So we're looking for a maximum value, so we want to take the derivative. Okay, so the derivative of P is equal to the derivative of 12I would be 12. Okay, we are taking the derivative of this with respect to current because we're solving for current. Minus 0.5 times 2I. So let's see here. We're trying to maximize, so we need the derivative equal to 0. 0.5 times 2 is 1, right? 1 half times 2 is 1. So that says that the current, our critical number, critical point, critical value for this is a current of 12 uh, amps, currents in amps. But we don't know for sure that that gives us the max. Okay, we're not sure because the max could occur at one of the endpoints as well. So we are going to plug in 0 into our um, P. P stands for power. Okay. Got to orient myself there. Okay. Plug in 0. Well, that kind of makes sense. If there's no current running through there, there's going to be no power. So 0 is definitely not our maximum. We need to check our critical point. Plugging this into the P function, so 12 times 12 minus 1 half times 12 squared. So that's 144 minus uh, 1 half times 144. So half of 144 would be 72. That's it. So when the current is 12, the power output is 72, uh, what's power measured in? What is power measured in? No, 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 it's else. Anyways, okay. Uh, and then we need to check 15. Okay, so 12 times 15 minus 1 half times 15 squared. I'm not doing that one in my head. 12 times 15 minus 0.5 times 15 squared, 67.5. So the 12 does give us the maximum power output. So that's the question. 12 amps gives us the 
maximum power in this circuit or battery field. Okay, uh, let's ask this question here. Could the power output be increased by replacing the 15 ampere fuse with a 20 amp fuse? Well, what does that affect in our problem? Where was the 15 amp talk, talk about? It was talked about right here. The fuse bounds the output in the interval. Our current can only be from 0 to 15. Well, if we replace that with a 20 amp fuse, that means our current can range from 0 to 20. So that does not affect our uh, critical number of 12. It just means that we need to see if, well, if that current increases to 20, changing that endpoint, will that produce more power than the 12 amps producing 72? I think power's in watts. Uh, but anyway, so we just need to check 20. Okay, plug in 20 into our power function. and see if that changes. 12 times 20, 20 squared is 400, so half of that is 200. That only gives us 40 watts of power. So no, that did not help our situation. Okay, the maximum power is still at a current of 12 amps. Okay, questions? I cannot emphasize enough, any time it's asking for maxes and mins, you find your critical points by setting the derivative equal to zero, solving. Plug it in, but you must also check the endpoints. You must always check the endpoints because sometimes those endpoints have higher or lower values than the critical numbers.